Hey, Sean Jantz here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan for January 18th, Wednesday. I'm going to do it on Slash ES, which is the S&P 500, and Slash TF, which is the small cap 2000. And every single evening, I always start on the four-hour chart. The four-hour chart is what I call the anchor chart. And as far as a day trader goes, our four-hour chart is the most important chart to understand is what is our bias on this four-hour chart. What I mean by that is are we overbought? Are we oversold? Or are we at what you'd call equilibrium, right? Are we just not overbought, and over, not oversold? We're basically in the middle of price. And so here you can kind of see what's happened here. On uh, Tuesday, we kind of had a little move down, you can see here, right? Made a little bit of move down into this massive range low that this chart has formed. Range low is basically 60 to 58. We kind of have a pretty big range low to 60 to 58. So let's write that number down, 60 to 58. And then we kind of popped back into middle, right? Or like what I like to call, we're just at equilibrium right now. And if you notice our Fisher transformers, they're all literally right there at the zero line. When the Fisher transformer goes up here, that means we're overbought and we need to be looking to sell the chart. When the Fisher transformer goes down here, that means we're oversold. That means we're, we need to be looking to buy the chart. And so when we look at this, look, we're in the middle. We're in the middle. So what does that say? That means we can be a buyer and or a seller on Wednesday. We just have to wait for strength and we gotta wait for uh, retracements and we gotta wait for the price to come to us. And so this chart has plenty of room to kind of fall back down to these lows, 60 to 58, we'll write that number down. And then of course it has plenty of room to get up above this middle blue Keltner and make its way back up to these highs right there. We'll write that number down, 70 to 72. So now we know based off of our four hour chart, we can be either or. We're not overbought, we're not oversold. We can be a bull and or bear. We're basically at equilibrium going into Wednesday. So now what we do is we move to our 15 day, 15 minute plot chart. And what we're doing here is we're just looking for structure. We're looking for the best places to buy, best places to sell. We're looking for support, resistance, supply, and demand zones. And we're also looking for uh, consolidation zones uh, as well and potential trim lines just like I'm drawing here. And so what I always like to do is I like to start on the deviations and then I look left uh, to see if there's structure there. So that number right there, 2277, that is all time high since the beginning of time. So of course our plus one, we don't have any structure on our plus one. Then we move to our plus 0.5 and we actually have great structure on our plus 0.5 right there from 70 to 72. Guess what? I just wrote that number down in my notes too. See how you can kind of put it together? So we know based off of the four hour chart, these bowls absolutely have plenty of room to run up to this range high. Look left, we got resistance, 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 support right? You had support there. We had breakout, breakout. And then also you got a little bit of resistance right there on 2270. So we can use that as potential targets. And of course, my favorite was going to be resistance right there. Now we look lower. We got value area low and also that trend line I just drew uh, right there. And that's our 60 to 58. I just wrote that number down as well. Our 60 to 58 is our range low. And then of course, we got the minus 0.5. We look left on minus 0.5. We actually got some pretty good structure there. We got support, support, consolidation, resistance, resistance, breakout, support. So what I'm, how we can use that is get through that trend line, hold lower highs, and then we can use the minus 0.5 as a TP spread target to the downside. Once we get there, we definitely can look for potential buy triggers off of the minus 0.5. And then if these bears just want to go ahead and drop the hammer on this chart tomorrow, our long-term bull bear target tomorrow is the minus one deviation. You look left, there is structure there to warrant price to go there, right? So if price gets through the minus 0.5, continues holding lower highs, we got the minus one as our long-term bull bear target, okay? So now what we do, we're going to zoom in now that we've taken a look at this chart in a longer time frame and we're going to really pre-plan every single trade before it happens. We're going to visualize everything. So let's first talk about if it goes higher. The first thing I'll be looking for is this potential resistance sell trigger here at value area high and there's also two POCs right there. And notice how well this held as resistance on Tuesday. Massive, massive resistance right there. 
We would then have two POCs and a value rate high right there. So let me show you here. That's the number one way to profit uh, from that box is to look for sell triggers uh, right there. Then we have our bull targets obviously here from 70 to 72. So if price gets up above, okay, a little bit of a breakout, hold higher low, right? So then we look for higher low buy triggers. Let me show you that picture here from the training. So if we break out, then we hold higher lows, then I can look to spread this sucker up to that trend line and also my second target will be the plus 0.5. I then take my profits right there. Once we get to the plus 0.5 in that trend line tomorrow, I can look for potential sell triggers or sell triggers. I'm even okay even looking for triggers on Monday's POC. So I'm not exactly sure and that'd be more than likely like a carrot trade will likely happen somewhere on that trend line plus 0.5 Monday's POC so I'm going to be looking for potential carrot trades we get up above plus 0.5 tomorrow question marks no structure up there since the beginning of time so I can't be telling you what to do now let's talk about if we go lower if these bears want to you know just go ahead find lower highs lower highs you just want to find strength you got a target but if you want to tr potentially try and spread this overnight uh, you got a TP target on Wednesday and set. And then if you go ahead and get through Wednesday and set, this price is likely to go ahead and run down to that range low, value area low, and also um, that trend line as well. Once we get there, so you can potentially spread that down. Once we get there, we can look for potential buy triggers off of that trend line and buy value area, buy value area low. So let me show you that. That's the number two way to profit from that box. Then we just talked about it. Price gets through, hold, now hold, lower highs, lower highs. We then have a target on the minus 0.5 deviation, take profit, so now we can just continue to ride these bears down. Once we get to minus 0.5, I can look for potential buy triggers. I'd like to try and enter off of a one minute higher low, so touch the minus 0.5 and look to enter off of a one minute higher low. Then, uh, if we talked about this, but now we see it in a shorter, uh, smaller view, get through minus 0.5, continue holding lower highs, lower highs, and then our long-term target will be the minus one. So I'm not, here's the deal. I got question marks beyond the minus 0.5 deviation tomorrow. So just be careful because there's just not a lot of, I don't think that's gonna happen, but if it does, we start getting through the minus 0.5 Everybody needs to be mindful of what's going on on the weekly chart right now. We are currently inside of forming a weekly candle sell trigger. See how we're forming a weekly candle sell trigger here? So these weekly, um, the bears could drop the hammer on you at any time. and You just got to be so careful trying to be a buyer as this chart continues to get oversold. And I won't lie, got to be careful potentially being a seller as well. So I, I really just like a plus 0.5, minus 0.5 day tomorrow. I really only want to be making my trades inside of there, okay? I just quickly want to look at slash TF. The chart is actually a little bit different. Um, what I'll be looking for is price to get up above these POCs, hold higher lows. And if these bulls want to run to the upside, I got targets on plus 0.5, and then of course we got 80% rule uh, to the upside. But before we 80% rule, you got to look for potential sell triggers, sell triggers, and then of course 80% rule sell triggers. So as we go higher, um, it's going to get a little bit complicated because you got POCs in your way, you got a plus 0.5 in your way, then you got value rate high, then of course you got two more POCs and a plus one. So it's going to get a little awkward going higher. Okay. Uh, and if we go lower, I don't have much for you, honestly, if this chart goes lower. I really like the ES, and uh, I really like the NQ chart as well. I'm already in a weekly on the NQ, and I really like this chart for opportunities. I really like the NQ for a potential, let me show you this, 80% rule uh, to the downside on NQ. So if price comes outside of value, just like it's doing, then it gets back inside and holds lower highs. 80% chance price is going to fall down there to value area low. Then go ahead and take your profit. So comment if you have any questions and make sure that you're recording everything you're doing and take pictures of all of your trades as well and post them so that you get feedback from me and from others.